Fighting their way through the goblin-infested valley of the pass, the survivors of the doomed East Haven expedition at last came upon the small hamlet of Kaldahar. Nestled within the roots of a massive oak tree, the tiny cottages were a welcome sight for the weary travelers. As the party approached the town, a warm breeze blew over them, chasing away the chill of the frozen pass and carrying with it the sweet scent of cooking fires. Agreed. Agreed. Done. Welcome. I've been expecting you for some time now. <sighs> yes, well, bad news travels upon swift wings in these mountains. I know about your expedition from East Haven. I know why you are here for it was I who sent for you. I am Arendelle, known to some as the Archduet of Kaldahar, though I invite you to dispense with the formalities and just call me Arendelle, plain and simple. Titles tend only to serve one's own vanity and aren't really of much use in this small mountain community. Yes, it was I who sent Halaster to East Haven for help. His death weighs heavily upon my conscience. For not only was he a student of mine, but he was also a friend and trusted companion. He will be missed, as will Rothgar and the other members of your expedition. Oh yes, I know. I also know that it was no accident. Someone or something did not want your party to reach Kaldahar alive. There are malevolent forces at work in these mountains. Forces that seek to undermine the delicate balance we druids have struggled to preserve for centuries. No, oh, would that I could. The face of the evil remains hidden, but its presence is unmistakable. All about us, there are signs of its damaging influence on the balance. The unnatural weather, the recent rash of abductions, the numerous monster sightings in the past. These all point towards something sinister. Even the animals sense something is amiss. I can only tell you of what little I know. Which disturbances would you have me speak of? I fear that if we do not soon discover the source of these disturbances, then all that we have worked for will be destroyed. The evil that has come to these mountains infects this town like a disease. As its people suffer, so does the tree suffer from the sickness that attacks the balance, corrupting it with its very presence. 
Already, the circle of warmth that radiates from the Great Oak has begun to recede. We were forced to abandon the outlying farmsteads as a result of the Shrine's fading power. If we do not take action soon, I am afraid that the life-giving warmth will cease altogether. Both the Great Oak and the town nestled within its roots will die. This must not happen. We need your help. I suggest you begin by investigating the Vale of Shadows. It is a place not far from here. Darkness has always clung to the floor of the small canyon, as if the light of the sun itself were wary of the place. There are a number of ancient crypts hidden within the shadows of the Vale's narrow cliff walls. There have been rumors of the dead awakening and emerging from their dusty tombs to walk once more amongst men. If these rumors are true, then I suspect that whatever is responsible for disturbing their slumber may be behind the other disturbances as well. Go to the Vale of Shadows, learn what you can about the happenings there, then return here and we shall discuss a course of action. Good luck and farewell. Agreed. Agreed. I'm on it. Done. Agreed. Agreed. My tempers. The vision speaks true. You are the heroes from my dreams. Our paths have not crossed until this day. I am Yoldair, son to Refrik, elder and shaman to the tribe of the bear. The vision is why I have come to this place. Tempas has guided me to you. This I cannot say. I know only that the storm of war darkens the skies of my homeland. My people are gathering in numbers greater than any have seen for generations. A king, both new and old, has risen to lead the tribes against the Ten Towns. Already the first snows of winter bear the dark stains of spilt blood. You must come to Hengoro, to the great mead hall where the tribes have gathered. You alone can forestall the war between our peoples. Although I am certain you are the heroes of my vision, I fear you are not yet strong enough for the task at hand. Go forth and sharpen your skills upon the field of valor. When you've grown stronger, return here and we shall speak more. Agreed. I split your soul.
done. Agreed. I'm on it. 